coronavirus has turned the workforce upside down. This as employees all across the globe have had to adjust to the remote work lifestyle that they've all had now. And some people have switched and even started new jobs all while working from home. Our next guest has created a platform to turn workplace onboarding and training into interactive games, all to keep their employees engaged. Joining us now is Sam Cayucci, the CEO and founder of One Huddle. Sam, great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. So explain to our viewers how One Huddle works and how has the coronavirus really changed the way that the platform is being used right now? Sure. Great to be here, Baker. Uh, you know, never before, Baker, have we seen uh, five different generations that are kind of at work at the same time. And uh, at the same time, what w it work is, is changing even faster. Um, we started One Huddle uh, primarily out of the understanding that, you know, everything an employee needs to know to be effective needs to be more accessible. It needs to be in their pocket. And I think what we've seen over the last 30 days is companies um, hustle up to try to figure out not just how to keep training their workers, but how do we keep our employees together right now? Uh, it's a major, major point. We're working hard to uh, keep our workforce together. Yeah, exactly. And Sam, since a lot of people are almost all working from home and they might be for quite a while as well, how can this be used to keep employees connected all while we're working from home? Great question. You know, uh, when, when, we, when we started One Huddle, we knew that, you know, on one hand, workers are remote. We need to meet them where they are. We also knew that uh, workers are tired of boring. I mean, I'm sure a lot of folks out there can relate to the compliance training or the online learning module they were forced to do. Uh, those things are just not even practical anymore to connect to workers. You know, so uh, with One Huddle, companies take a communication, could be brand training, it could be an alert on uh, COVID-19. And in minutes, they can turn it into a mobile game, deploy it to their workforce, and sort of in, you know, ignite a competition where workers, wherever they are, are competing, learning, and leveling up uh, for, for their job. So with so many different platforms and tools out there for a lot of us to use, what made you decide you wanted to create this platform in particular? Sure. I know, I know speaking, speaking personally, you know, I spent my career as, a, as an employee always trying to figure out how I level up. I was afforded, uh, always afforded a lot of opportunities to do that, uh, whether that's college or that's great managers or great environments. And, you know, I said that one of the biggest problems with, you know, as a point, Baker, 40 percent of our workforce are service level low income. These are a part of our workforce that don't traditionally have access to the things to skill up and level up. And we started the company because we said, if you know a company is only as strong as every worker in their workforce, uh, how do we meet employees wherever they are? What if we did it with something that they actually looked forward to and competed on? And that's where we kind of got the concept of a game. Uh, today, we have hundreds of brands across the globe from um, vineyard vines and tapestry that use us to keep their retail workers together. It's super interesting how brands like that are keeping people together. Um, but also brands like Madison Square Garden and um, Broadridge Financial who are using the platform to skill up so that when we all get back to work, uh, nobody skips a beat. Then that's great. And Sam, a lot of us really interested to see what the world and a post-coronavirus workforce looks like. How do you envision this technology evolving once we get back to work? And what does it look like maybe five, 10 years from now? Sure. Uh, you know, the future of work, we've been talking about robots, and I'm sure you guys have been too, been afraid of robots taking all of our jobs for a while. Uh, the future of work is a trend. It was coming anyway. Uh, companies need to look at this as if it's just been accelerated. Uh, you know, so in that, you know, in that same moment, uh, companies need to uh, find ways to uh, make sure that they're prepared because, as I said a second ago, when we get back to work, you're going to see never in the history of work have we tried to restart a workforce from scratch. 25 million Americans out of work. How do we get 100% of those folks back into their jobs, upskilled, who knows what job they're coming back to? That's going to be a major challenge for our, our economy and our workforce. Uh, products like ours, you know, this isn't just about adding more Zoom accounts, everybody. We got to find ways to level up workers 
Uh, and we need to invest in this. And I think this is a time where technology can be super assistive to us uh, getting back to normal. Yeah, indeed. We were already seeing people already start to have Zoom fatigue already after all this. Uh, Sam Cagliucci, CEO and founder of One Huddle. Great to have you here, Sam. Thank you so much for joining us.